Ever wonder what your feline friend is thinking? Well, wonder no more. Here are seven things your cat wants to tell you, straight from the mouth, uh, mouth of your furry companion. You're a talking cat? Uh, yeah, all cats can talk. One, sensitive palate. You know, I've got a super sensitive palate. While you humans enjoy all those sweet treats, I can't even taste the sweetness. But boy, let me tell you, when it comes to bitter stuff, it hits me like a ton of bricks. So, when you see me making bubbles after taking my medicine, you humans might call it drooling. Don't worry, I haven't thrown up. I'm just reacting to the bitterness. But hey, here's an idea. Why not mix my medicine into my favorite cat treats? Trust me, I'll gobble them up in no time. It'll be like a special little snack time for me, and I won't even notice the medicine. It's a win-win, don't you think? Two, bedroom secrets. I can pick up what you humans are doing in the bedroom when you close the door. And I can even smell your pheromones through the walls. But why don't you have babies? Could it be that you're just too busy playing with us furballs to think about having your own little ones? Or maybe you've decided that one of us is enough mischief for a household. Huh? Three, your mug, my trust. You know, us cats, we're very particular about cleanliness. Our cat's instincts tell us to avoid water that's located near our food because it could be a source of bacteria. We are also biologically programmed to have to find water and hunt food in different places. So, when I see you placing my water next to my food, I naturally assume it's dirty. But when I see your mug with your scent on it, I know it's safe. It's like having a little piece of you with me and it makes the water taste even better. Four. Morning routine. Hey, don't blame me for being a responsible furball. You see, in the wild, it's my job to make sure everyone's up and ready to hunt at the crack of dawn. So, when I see you sleeping like a log, I just gotta make sure you're still alive and kicking. Plus, it's the perfect time for us to plan our hunting strategy for the day. Who knows, we might even catch a few toy mice together. And let's be honest, those early morning cuddles are just an added bonus. After all, who can resist a furry wake-up call from their favorite feline friend? Five, snuggle etiquette. Hey, I love a good snuggle as much as the next furball, but we gotta do it right, you know? When you hold me, it's not that I don't want the cuddles, it's just that I have a particular way I like to be held. It's all about feeling safe and secure. So, next time, try holding onto my bottom or letting me hold onto your arm. Trust me, it'll be perfect. And while we're on the subject, can we talk about belly rubs? Belly rub. I know my belly looks oh so soft and inviting, but when you reach for it, it makes me uncomfortable. A gentle chin scratch or head rub is much more my style. Occasionally, I might allow belly rubs, but not all the time. It's a mood thing, you know? So next time, let's stick to the chin scratches and head rubs. Trust me, it's much appreciated. Six, cardboard box love. Who needs those fancy beds when you've got a good old cardboard box? They're like a little slice of kitty heaven. They're cozy, warm, don't generate static, and perfect for a good scratch and bite when I'm feeling stressed. It's like my own personal kitty spa. And let's not forget the joy of hiding in them and pouncing on unsuspecting toys or even your feet. Oh, and don't get me started on the joy of finding a crumpled up piece of receipt or a hairband to bat around. Now that's the simple things in life and pure feline entertainment. So, save the money you'd spend on fancy beds and toys and instead get me some yummy chicken and egg yolk. Seven, cleanliness matters. Hey, accidents happen, okay? And when they do, like when I get my poo-poo on my feet, do you think I'll force myself to lick it off? No, no, no. I'll start kneading on your couch and bedding instead. Why lick my own feet when I can leave my mark on your couch and bedding, right? It's the perfect solution.
Oh, and speaking of cleaning, let's talk about my litter box. It's like my own personal bathroom, you know? Just like you, I appreciate a clean and fresh space. So, please, scoop it regularly, change the litter often, and make sure the box is big enough as I grow. Trust me, it's better for both of us. So there you have it, seven things your cat wants you to know. Understanding your feline companion's needs and desires is key to a happy and healthy relationship. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more adorable cat content and give us a thumbs up if your cat has ever done any of these things. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy purring.